come in. Let's let's take a few moments and share um, a really beautiful piece of music. It's a Polish mazurka written by Karl K A R O L Zimanowski S Z Y M A N O W S K I. And uh, mazurka is uh, ma the mazurka is a, is the national dance of Poland. It's written in three four meter. And whereas waltzes usually have the strong beat at, on, um, on the first beat, one, two, three, one, two, three. In, in mazurka, it can be shifted to other beats. shifter, you never know where that strong beat is going to fall. Um, like some of the other composers that we have met over the course of this summer, Zimanowski writes in layers of activity, and you'll hear them immediately if we just sort of chat about them ahead of time. In the lowest register, you'll hear this ancient sound. We call that an open fifth. It just means that those pitches are five notes apart. Um, you hear this in all kinds of cultures. Uh, the Scottish bagpipe drone is an open fifth. Indian raga music is a fifth. Um, and our um, in our uh, Western music, we use open fifths. And obviously, in in Poland, the open fifth is a part of that long-standing folk tradition. So that, those open fifths will be down in the lowest part of the piano register. In the upper part, what you'll hear is this incredible melody, which sounds very exotic to our ears. That's a scale. It's called the Podolian Mode. It's a scale that comes from a certain portion of Poland. And the scale sounds like this. You could do this. So this particular melody um, is offered to us four times, and each time it's different. This is so typical of what goes on in the in the mountainous region, the Tatra Mountains, where Zhumanovsky wrote uh, many of these mazurkas. They like to improvise on a theme, and so that's what Jimanovsky is doing. He's offering us this wonderful theme four times, and it's different each time. The phrasing is very unusual. I think that the, some of the phrasing that you see in Polish music must have something to do with the way their language is constructed. That's, that's my theory, and I'm sticking with it. The middle layer of activity is just a series of repeated chords. you have these very distinct layers. Cool, huh? The middle section of the rhythm is not as flexible, it's much uh, steadier, and it's more like a dance. and this little duet up in the top. Um, it ends then with a very, very short section that is similar to the beginning, so I guess we would call our overall form ABA. -A. All right, and there's a French word at the very end of this mazurka, and the word is enchaîné, which means chain together. There's the, this is meant to be chained right together with the second mazurka without a pause. So maybe next week we'll do Mazurka number two. But for this week, this is Mazurka number one. It was dedicated to Artur Rubinstein, the famous Polish pianist. By, and it was written by, this is composed by Karl Szymanowski.
And next week we'll chain it to Mazurka number two. How's that? Okay, I would say goodbye in Polish, but I don't know how to say that. So I'll just say goodbye.